Okay, you're looking at the gadget demo website, and you can see I've got it set up to show these digital cameras, and they're categorized by price. These are just categories, top level categories up here that I've added post into. And I've got three cameras for each section, uh, with the exception of this best cameras, 200 to 500 price category. So I'm going to go ahead and add a camera here. Uh, and I just happen to have one open here in the Amazon search. I did a search for best cameras uh, and I sorted them by price. So this one looks, um, it's under 500 and it's got 91 reviews, 4 star overall. So I'm just going to click and open this guy over here in a new tab. And I've got my uh, product page. So I'm going to create a new page for this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab the I'm going to grab the product name and click back over to my uh this is the gadget WordPress admin. Under post I'm going to click add new. I'm going to enter the title there and then I'm going to swap back over to the Amazon page for it. And I'm going to go ahead and grab some content and I'm just going to grab this boilerplate content uh the bullet points here. Um, from here up, okay, and I'll just grab that, copy it, and I'm going to paste that in, and I'm going to go to visual mode so I can, the formatting will come over, so you can click visual HTML, you can see both of those, okay, and uh, by default it comes in, and if there's any formatting you can see the bold text from the Amazon it's going to show up there and I'm going to go ahead and add also while I'm here I'm going to go ahead and add that to my ClickBump SEO plugin title because that's the phrase that people will be searching for for this particular camera and I'm also going to add some uh, a few headings to this uh, this content so we'll go down here where it says uh, right here in this Lumix image stabilization I'm gonna just put the uh, camera name there and I'm also gonna do the same here and a few other places just to uh, make sure I get credit for this keyword in some key places in my post I'm gonna click over here to HTML and I'll scroll down to where I had those headings and here's one so I'm just going to make that an H2 and normally you want to get these higher up in the content I'm just doing a quick demo so uh, I'm not going to do too much there in terms of optimization but I just want to show you how you can switch over to HTML and quickly format these tags changing these strong tags to heading element tags which you'll get an extra boost in SEO for alright so um, I'm not quite done with this. I want to go ahead and put a featured image up and Amazon makes this really simple for us. I'm going to use a combination of Amazon and Pixlr editor because their images are formatted with a little bit too much white space around them. So I'm, I've got the uh, this little add-on in my Chrome browser which is a, a Pixlr um, add-on and I can right click on any image on the net and just say edit in Pixlr it'll open that image up well in this case it doesn't so let's see if I can do that again okay so it's not going to do it there so this gives me a good teaching opportunity to show you um, if you're not able to do it in that way you can copy the image URL and you can come over in Pixlr and click the open image from URL option and now it's going to open it. So um, I'm going to, you can see the extra white space here on the image. I'm going to go ahead and just select my cropping tool and draw a selection around the image to just capture the area that I want to show. And uh, so it creates, you can see that bounding box there. And then I can click it again and it asks me to apply the changes. I can say yes. And lastly, I want to knock the background out. And uh, I've got a white background on this particular um, template you can see but uh, just in case I wanted everyone to change the background it'll be convenient to have that background knocked out so the trick here 
is the layers palette over here. It has a lock. So I'm going to double click it to unlock it. And uh, then I can click this little magic wand selection, click on the white area, and then click delete. Okay, and if I did not have this, uh, this layer unlocked, when I click delete there, it wouldn't really do anything. So by unlocking it, it, it creates a transparent layer on the image. So now I've got a, the background knocked out, and I can go ahead and save this image. And uh, I've actually I had removed the uh, I had removed the post title, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that again because I want to name this image to get an extra boost for SEO, and I name the image after the uh, actual keyword phrase. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten up these spaces. And this is going to be a PNG. J JPEG is great, but it won't support transparent background. So I'm going to change to PNG here. You can see it shows the transparency. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And I've got a folder here where I'm saving my images. And you see it automatically adds this PNG uh, extension for me. So there that is. And now I can go back over into my post. And I'm going to go here with this featured image area. I'm going to set featured image and I'm going to click select files and I'm just going to open that Panasonic that I just saved over at Pixlr so you can see I've got the image now and I'm going to go ahead and while I'm here I'm going to copy that file name and make the alternate text um, the same as the file name so that'll give me another extra boost uh, in terms of SEO so now I'm going to click use as featured image you can see behind my post it automatically assigns it there and also save all changes so I can save this change I made to the image properties save all changes okay and now I can close that also want to link this image to my Amazon affiliate ID I've got this featured image links to here in the click bump theme that allows me to do that so I can go back over to Amazon and I'm gonna click on my Amazon associates toolbar link to this page and I'm going to click text only and grab that link. Copy it. I'll close that. I'll go back over to my featured image links too. I can paste that in there. Okay, and uh, finally, I'm going to add this to the appropriate category. And again, this is best cameras. You can see this tab 200 to 500. So I've got a category created that matches that. I'm going to click that and I am pretty much done with the uh, content so um, when I click here under best cameras 200 to 500 I can see currently I've got two listed here and I'm gonna go ahead and hit refresh and I should see there it is my Panasonic I just added and it goes to the top because the latest is going to be automatically shown at the top I can click on it and I can see that I've got my uh, content. I've got an ad that I have inserted uh, automatically globally that'll show up there on the post. And I've got this image, and it's uh, linked directly to the Amazon product page. So it carries my affiliate ID, just like I put it over, and uh, everything is set there for you. So I'm going to go back to the page, and uh, the only thing I've got left to do, I can see that I put the content in there. The only thing I've left to do is add it to this uh, best cameras. Actually, it was added for me. Um, no, that, there it is. Best cameras, 200, 500. See, I've still got the two, and I need to add this uh, DMC L2 LX2K. So to do that, I'm going to go back over to the admin area and go to Appearance Menus. Okay, and I've got my Categories menu selected. I also have a Site menu here. Uh, that's my top menu, but I've got this categories menu displayed under the header area. Okay, so I can go over here to post, and if you don't see the post box, you can just click here with screen options, and you can see all the different items you can add to these uh, this palette, this workspace over here. So I just created a post, and it's the LX2K. So I'm going to click that and click Add to Menu and it shows up here under at the bottom of my menu and I can just drag it up under this category that's only got two 
right there let it go and click save and now I'm gonna click back over to my live site and refresh the page and now you can see it shows here so I've got my new camera right there added to the menu and I'm done so I hope this showed you uh, really quickly how you can do a few things we've we've added a new item a new post we've added an image we've also added an affiliate link and we've added it to our custom menu